Hi everyone. In this video, I'll remind you the two different approaches that we use to get user input. It's also a good opportunity to practice the hotkeys in IntelliJ. So go ahead and program along with me if that would be helpful. Um, I've got a public class example here. Instead of typing public static void main, you can type PSVM and then tab to create your main method. First, we'll create a scanner object. So I've got my data type, scanner, and my variable name, keyboard. And then I'll use the new keyword to create a new instance of scanner. And I'll give it system.in as the input. OK, um, here it's in red because it doesn't recognize this symbol. So you can hit Alt-Enter to import it. I'll say import the class. And there's several different classes that are called scanner. We want the one from java.util. All right, so now we've got a keyboard. So let's go ahead and make a double for a number of miles and a string name. Instead of typing system.out.println, instead of typing system.out.println, let's type SOUT tab. And that's created system.out.println. I don't want to print line, though. I actually just want to print. So I'm going to backspace and then have my parentheses and ask, what's your name? OK, so. I can type name equals, and then instead of typing the full word keyboard, type ke tab, and then a dot, and then next line is what we want to do, because that reads in the whole next line that the user types as a string. So you can just hit enter. So when you get used to using the keyboard shortcuts, it all goes very, very quickly. All right, let's do the same thing. Um, practice s out, and we'll say <clears throat> how many miles, and then mi tab equals k tab dot next d tab because I want to read in a double. Okay, so now let's calculate the result. I'll have feet equals miles times 5,280 feet per mile, and then s out name plus there are plus this many feet in plus this many miles. Miles. And when you're ready, go ahead and run it and verify that it works. If you remember, you can run a program by finding the green arrow next to the main method. So I'll click that and say run. And it should open the console once the program has compiled. It says, what's your name? Mr. D, how many miles? 10 miles. Mr. D, there are this many feet in 10 miles. Awesome. Let's do the same thing the other way. So I'm going to delete the entire middle out of this. Um, so J option pane, oops, excuse me. So J option pane is nice because it opens a graphical dialog, but you can only return strings. So let's make string name equals J option pane. So I only had to type J O P, and now I can hit tab dot show input dialog tab. What's your name? And then let's do string response equals J O P tab. Dot show tab. <laughs> ah, sometimes you get a little mixed up. Okay. Um, enter a number of miles. And notice that even though they're going to type a number here, it saves into a string. So we have to parse the string as a double, which means convert the string into a double. So we'll say double miles equals double dot parse double and response. Notice how I'm using tab and enter with the autocomplete like very fluidly. You want to put in the time early on to practice this because it's going to super speed up your programming later on. So double feet equals miles times 5,280. S out. Name plus there are feet. Feet in. Miles. Miles. Cool. OK, let's run it and make sure it works. So now I can hit the green arrow up here because it already knows where the main method is for this particular class. And here it pops open the dialog, Mr. D, I want 10 miles, and the answer is displayed down there. If you want to display the results in a message dialog, you can do that in this way. So let's cut out the middle here. I'm going to make a string called uh, display text or just display. And now I'll say j option tab dot show message dialog. 
I'm going to have the first input be null, which means that the dialog isn't part of a larger system of windows. And then I'm going to display my string here, display. So now I can run it again, Mr. B, 10, and now it displays it in a message dialog.